Hey everybody, it's three four five four back with more Technic Path. Uh, I don't remember what we did in the last episode because I really don't pay attention to that crap. Anyway, in this episode, I'm gonna be focusing a bit on the equivalent exchange mod. There's a few more items I want to create, mainly because I'm going to be throwing away this world. If if you ask what I mean, I mean there's some. If you look, I've already prepared myself for the worst for now by making cobblestone. But look. The taint has really is getting close to my base. So I've decided to move into a new world and bring whatever I need or whatever is helpful with me. Hmm. Huh. Gonna miss this world. But in the end, it's for the greater good. I've already started setting up a factory in the new world. There'll probably be this will probably be my last episode in this world. Sorry about that. Uh, heard something. I went to check it out. Anyway, probably gonna bring a few uh, UU matter, my destruction catalyst. I've actually been letting my uh, what's it called, my infinite EMC generators run for a bit. I'm probably gonna have to set some more of these up, so I'll probably just take some of these from my old world. From this world and put them in the new world. God, I have like an entire thing full of dark matter. And if you if you're wondering what that is, that's where I held myself up. Like whenever I left it alone at night, I just hide up. I hide in there so I don't get attacked by monsters. I got all this red matter now. So I'm pretty set up. My problem is I need more bags, more alchemy bags for this. Not really, actually, but. I don't want to go into the new world and spawn in it like a, a bag just so that I, I can carry it all and pretend I did. So I am going to uh, make some more alchemy bags. But first, there's some other items I want to create. I actually was looking up dark matter. Don't remember why. Oh yeah, I was looking what I could use to make what I could use dark matter to make. And one of them was a mercurial, mercurial eye. I also cleared out my M so I just put everything in here except for my Klein star. I'm also gonna make a better Klein star because I need a better Klein star. But mercurial eye, it requires one red mana, a diamond, five bricks, and two obsidian. Uh, I don't have any bricks in here. Do I? I'm also going to be losing my farm. Here's that. Um, those are coke oven bricks. Do I have any bricks in here? I don't have any red matter, so I'm good. Oh, yeah, I do, but do I? Seriously, don't have any bricks? I only have coke oven brick. Oh wait, here we go. I think I can make this into a brick block. Yeah, I can. I'll just take it, this entire thing. Now I use this. I never got the red matter out. Also, I need obsidian. Okay, uh, red matter, diamond, these things, this, mercurial eye. Now I might be one, okay, I probably should set it up here. I press B, which is the default for me. Uh, you will notice this, this kind of HUD. If you put a Klein star in here, it will tell you how much is on the Klein star. If I were to, let's see, do I have any dirt? Dirt will probably work best since it's so easy to clean up. Put dirt in here, it tells me how much is on here. Now if I... Oh, hi Mr. Spider. Oh crap. Since I took my client star out of my inventory, I have no source of power. Oh well.
Hmm. Oh. I'll just do it in here since there's so much. Now, if you press G, it'll give you these different modes. There's extension mode, creation mode, transmutation mode, and pillar extension mode. Okay, extension mode is a. Uh, well, I let's see. I'm on extension mode right now. All right, charge it up a little bit. Makes a wall, and the more charge it has, the bigger the wall will be. And it'll turn. And it makes this dirt out of the Klein Star energy that I put that I have in here. So, the more it costs, the more it'll take from your Klein Star. But it pretty much makes an infinite amount of blocks. Now, then there's the I, the Creation mode, which is pretty, yeah, it's kind of buggy. What it's supposed to do is it allows you to place one block for a more precise building. Uh, and then there's transmutation mode. If I do that, see how it turns it into dirt? Well, now I'm not getting that back. But instead, if you notice, I turned it into dirt, but a wool is worth like. How much is a wool worth? 48. Well, all that extra, the difference between the wool and the dirt is put into my client star I believe so if you were to turn maybe a diamond block into a piece of dirt I don't know why you do that but it gives you a ton of EMC into your client star now real quick I'm gonna I, I don't even care to patch this up I'm getting rid of this world anyway probably gonna bring some coal coke and stuff from my blast furnace rolling machine anyway uh, that's not the only thing I want I want to make a couple things so I'm oh hi note to self get the client star out of the get out of here leaves just take the client star out of Mercurial Eye so I can have a power source. What's with all the spiders wanting to get up in my business? Get out of here. Okay, real quick. Take the client star out. So this Mercurial Eye is, for, is really good when you want to build. Now next thing I wanted to build was a watch of flowing time. This watch of flowing time actually works with the industrial craft and build craft uh, things. So I need four dark matter, a clock, two obsidian, two glowstone. How much of that do I have in my bag? Here's gold for the clock. Here's redstone for the clock. Uh, here's dark matter for the clock. Do I have glowstone? Um, yeah, I have some glowstone dust. We'll go take this out of my hot, hot bar. I'm kind of depressed that I'm going to be missing this world. Like, this world is going to go bye bye, but. I really don't have to get rid of it. But I, I think a new slate would be good. Just get a new world where there's no taint constantly looming over me. Anyway, this Watch of Flowing Time. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Uh. Well, that activates it. 
time of day, speed forward, backward, off. Okay, I press if you press B, you can uh this thing has a passive ability. As long as it's in your hotbar, you can make time go faster. And Okay. And the more you charge it, the more it'll the faster things will go. And if you press G, it'll speed up all of the machines around you. Which then, but then you'd have to stand next to it for a long time. Which is why I'm going to go into the next thing. Uh, which is, I think it's a DM or the uh, DM DM pedestal, which is five. Oh, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five. Five dark matter blocks. And for what about RM? There's a lot of stuff with RM. What is an RM fair? What is this used for? Just for an RM fairness. Anyway, to make a dark matter block, I'm just getting where's my dark matter? Here's my dark matter. Uh you just do that. Now what this does is if you if I would place it down like so, and I cl okay I got shift click if you shift click it then you can place like a water flowing time in there and you see it's right there, it's right here, and now its effect will go everywhere. Wonder do I have to charge it first after? Now, if I'm correct, it should like power up, all, speed up all the machines in the entire world. That's what Dark Matter Pedestal does. It's just—it's not just for uh, a watch of flowing time, though. It can be used for anything, I believe, for any uh, thing, uh, passive effect of a artifact, like the talisman of a pair, I believe, will repair any item within a set di in a set distance. I don't have a talisman as a repair. Oh. Um, let's see. What else do I want to make? I want to be. Able, I want to have these things in my. I really don't care to have this. Actually, I just built it because there. Mercurial Eye, however, will help me a lot because I'm building the factory out of uh, basalt. Uh, basalt cobblestone. That because I spawned on a uh, volcano, so. Could be helpful to like build up huge walls. Let's see, dark matter block is made for. I don't even know what the difference between these two transmutation tablets is. Uh, dark matter furnace. Yes, I'll make a dark matter furnace. That's exactly what I'll do. Yeah, I don't even need all that. I only needed a little bit. I'll show you where a dark, where a dark matter furnace does in a little bit. Well, actually, first I want a red matter furnace. Okay, it's a step up from a dark matter furnace. Now if I were now I'm not probably gonna use this all that much, but if I place it like this, look at this. Oh yeah, real quick, where's the red man? No. Okay, that's it all, okay, it's only useful. Okay, if I had a source of power, like do I have any coal in here? Yes I do. Do I have any unrefined ores though? Actually I have iron, this will work, I think. See, if you place something in here, it's like a Q. If you put something in here, 
it does this. It's a super fast furnace. It's not very cool. It's kind of cool efficient. It's like fuel efficient. And you can use different kinds of fuel like uh, Mobius fuel. Which is a type of fuel I guess. And so I just did an entire stack of iron for two coal. And you can place things in here and it'll do, go down the line and just melt everything. And then it'll put it, and sometimes you even have a chance of getting two of that item. So it's a pretty good thing. Um, what else can I make? Let's see, I got all these tools. Uh, hyperkinetic lens? Should I make a hyperkinetic lens? Nah. Hyperkinetic lens, pretty much, uh, you, when you use it, it fires a ball that explodes. And then it, whatever's in the explosion is put into a little ball in the center of the explosion. It's not very helpful. And a catalytic lens is pretty much the a mixture between a hyperkinetic lens and a destruction catalyst. Uh, that's another way of making a catalytic lens. I already have a Nevertide amulet and a uh, Vulcanite amulet. Do I have a Nevertide amulet? Yeah, I have a, I have a Nevertide amulet. Ooh, Black Hole Band. Archang Archangel Smite. Ring of Ignition, Zero Ring, Harvest Goddess Band. I'm not going to use the Harvest Goddess Band. Gem of Eternal Density. What I'm going to be making is a black hole band. 